new plants could soon be coming to Keloland Gardens. The USDA has updated its map showing which plants you can grow in different parts of the country, and there are some significant changes. Keloland's Dan Santella explains what it means to you. From oranges and yellows to greens, then finally blues and purples, a new plant hardiness zone map is now out from the USDA. This is a look at the 2012 map of South Dakota. And this is South Dakota in 2023, with much more of southern South Dakota now colored light blue, showing a change to zone 5A. It does really open up the types and varieties of plants that are considered hardy. However, South Dakota is a really unique climate. Um, we do not have consistent rainfall. We have temperature fluctuations in almost every season. Laura Kelfs with Landscape Garden Centers in the Sioux Falls area says this plant, a Japanese maple, will do well in zone 5A. There's a lot of trees that do well in like pockets throughout South Dakota or even throughout Sioux Falls. And that could be considered 5A, so plants like Japanese maple, uh, tulip tree, um, there's certain varieties of boxwood. According to the USDA, this new map offers more detail and utilized data from more than 13,000 weather stations. By comparison, just under 8,000 contributed to the 2012 map. But Kelfs points out much more than temperature will impact if your garden or flower beds will have a sunny 2024. What makes a climate? Your rainfall, um, your temperature changes, how drastic that can change, even our wind, uh, the type of soil that we have. So there's a lot that goes into an actual plant and its survivability outside of just temperature. Dan Santel, Kelloland News. Well, you can take a closer look at the updated map through this story on Kelloland.com.